What's up, friends? It's time to upgrade that synthetic wig game. Let's take these hairlines from this to this. Stay tuned. So in this video, I will be showing you how to pluck the hairlines on your synthetic wigs. So I like to start off with a hot comb. This is personal preference. I like to brush back all the hairs and see exactly the hairline that I'm working with on the unit. So I do recommend testing out a small part of the wig, maybe in the back to see that the heat is not too high. You don't wanna go above like 350 degrees because you can burn this hair. This is synthetic hair. Keep it in mind, it can melt. You also wanna have some clips on board. I'll link everything in my Amazon storefront under wig essentials of all these tools you can grab. So you need some tweezers. You wanna make sure that they're sharp and they have a pointed edge. Dull tweezers will not do anything. You also wanna have a water bottle. At the time of filming, I could not find my water bottle, but I do recommend this one off of Amazon. Amazon, it has a great mist. So I'm just gonna work with this water bottle that I have at the moment. So I like to start off spraying the hair because synthetic fibers are a little bit hard to pluck than human hair fibers. They're just a little bit tougher because of the fibers. So I go and I just pluck. I'm doing this in real time to show you guys exactly how slow I am plucking. I am misting and I'm plucking. I'm going back and forth. You don't wanna stay in one spot, you wanna go back and forth. So I'm going down the wig and then I'm gonna go up the wig. Do not stay in one spot or you will have ball spots. So this is something that I did not used to do when I first started my channel and I must admit that it does make your wig look more natural it definitely is a personal preference i wasn't comfortable with doing this before because the way everyone sped up their videos it looked like they were just like experts but honestly practice makes progress y'all like practice on an old synthetic wig don't practice on a brand new one practice on a wig that you're probably going to like throw away so as i'm plucking i always go in and i pluck and I comb. There are many different versions of how to pluck. I like to pluck behind the hairline to create a gradual, realistic hairline of how my natural hair would look. Like you wanna picture a hairline and pluck like that. So this is it sped up of how it's looking in all the videos and this is it slowed down. It's not really that fast, so take your time. You can cause holes in these wigs but just take your time and pluck, okay? I like to pluck and go back and forth. I do this for like a couple times, like about three or four times, and then I comb and I spray. I just keep repeating the process until the hairline is looking as natural as I want it to look. If you don't know what a hairline looks like, Body by Kara said it best, look it up, Google it, like take a picture of a hairline. I remember she said that in one of her videos and it stuck with me. So shout out to you, boo. So if you guys are noticing, I'm going back and forth between the different like sections because as you comb, you will notice that the hairline, you know, sometimes it might be too dense or it might be too thin. I like to keep looking at it to see that that gradient is being created the way that I want. And I do recommend just going in behind the hairline, in front of the hairline, behind the hairline, in front of the hairline. This is my technique. Again, there are different ways to do it, but this is how I do it. And again, this is real time versus sped up in the video. So you guys are able to see how it's really looking and keep combing because those extra hairs can help you really look at the hairline. Sometimes this process, as much as it's sped up in the videos and it looks like it takes us a minute, this process could take like 10 minutes, sometimes even 20 minutes. Like just be patient, do not rush and take your time and keep looking at the hairline. I like to keep combing the hairline back because it helps you really see the density of the hairline versus just keeping it all in one place. I probably could have plucked up this hairline some more, but I think I'm pretty comfortable with how this is looking. After you're done, you wanna go in, or I like to go in with my hot comb and a wax stick. I feel like it just really sleeks everything back and makes it look more natural and realistic. And you could really see that hairline shining through. 
So this is what the hairline is looking like plucked versus what it's looking like not plucked. This took about 20 minutes, so take your time. If you wanna go in more and pluck up some more, feel free, it's your wig, it's your life. There are no real rules of what you need to do. This is about all the hair that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button. I'ma talk to y'all later. Bye.